In our last episode, we showed you how to install the heads. This week, we're going to talk about the valve train. Stay tuned. Welcome back to In the Garage. In our last episode, we actually installed our heads, which already had our valves and springs and guide plates installed on it. This week, we're going to be installing the rest of the components for our valve train, showing you how to adjust everything, and then buttoning up the system. Stay tuned. Okay, so the next component of the valve train that we're going to install is the lifters. We're actually using CompCan's retrofit hydraulic lifters for our install. You'll see a bucket of oil here. This is our royal purple break-in oil that we've actually soaked the lifters in for 24 hours. That's a, just a good practice to make sure everything is properly lubricated before you install them. The actual installation of the lifters is pretty straightforward. We're going to show you how that goes, but we do want, did want to show you that we do pre-soak all of our lifters before they, we put them in the engine. It's just a good uh, preventative measure that we do. So let's uh, get in closer and we'll show you how these actually install in our block. Then we'll do our push rods and our rocker arms. All right, so we're going to get our lifters up here so we're not stringing oil all over our engine. Um, you'll see that they have a connecting arm between the lifters. That goes to the inside of the engine away from the block. So you can see everything's really well lubricated. Try and keep your hands to the inside of the engine so you're not stringing oil all over the head or the outside of the block. Just let them slide into place. Just touch them to make sure that they're properly seated on the bottom. Okay, so we've got all of our lifters installed in the engine. Again, as I said, this is a retrofit kit for this engine because this block originally wasn't set up for a hydraulic lifter. When we've made the install, made the decision to use a cam and lifter set that is a hydraulic lifter, these retrofit uh, lifters are a perfect uh, selection for the setup that we're actually running. All the part numbers and everything for the lifters, the push rods, and the roller rockers that we're using are in the description below. So let's get to our push rods. We'll talk about some of the decisions we've made there and then show you how they install. There's several different ways that you can find out your push rod length. Uh, if you want to go to the process of actually measuring and checking the valves themselves, there's a process for that. You can find that in several different videos. We've actually gone with Comp's recommendation for their push rod length for this cam setup. <clears throat> what we've actually got here is this is their Magnum push rod set. It's an 080 wall, one piece push rod in the 5 16th, it's a 7 300 uh, setup. And again, the part number and all the description information will be in the uh, description below. <clears throat> One thing you wanna do when you get your push rods, just as a general practice, is go ahead and check them before you install them in the and then later find out that you actually have an issue. Um, we've got a piece of glass here, any flat surface, you're just gonna wanna take your push rods and check them, make sure that they're all true, that they roll true. So we're just going to go do that real quick, and then we'll show you how they install in our engine. Okay, so it looks like we've got a good set of push rods here to install. The other thing you want to check is the passageway is fully clear in all of them. Just find you a good light source and just look down each of the push rods and make sure everything's clear. So we're going to do that and we'll install them. Okay, so we checked all the oil passages on our push rods. Now we're just taking some uh, brake cleaner and cleaning off all the old machine oil before we install them in the engine. As you can see, there's obviously lots of stuff on the push rods just as they ship them out. So make sure they're good and clean before you install them. And then once you've got them, you've got your guide plates on the top. You're going to feed each of the push rods and make sure it lands within the lifter. And we'll go back and we'll install the rocker arms. Okay, so now that we've got all the push rods installed, what we're actually doing is looking down the push rod channel <clears throat> to see, make sure it's lined up, to make sure it's not touching the wall of the head, um, that it's seated properly in the lifter, get it adjusted, and then uh, just hand tighten it to hold it in the place, then we'll go back and torque everything to spec.
just wanting to make sure that it's getting as little friction as possible. We certainly don't want it rubbing on the head. So now that we've adjusted our guide plates and got our push rods lined up the way we want them, we obviously go back and retorque our rocker arm studs.